voyage is the general term that we use to cover markers that indicate the edges of safe water in channels, open seas and danger areas. There are a number of special buoys to mark special purpose areas such as swimming areas, military practice areas and areas reserved for a particular activity such as jet skis. We will talk about the different groups of buoys later in the video. There are a number of buoys that are used to show us where the safe water is and where the dangers are. A good mariner will immediately recognise a buoy and know what action to take to keep the vessel in safe water. In the old days there was a number of buoy systems used in different parts of the world and after a few notorious sinkings in the 70s it was decided to create a worldwide system of buoyage. Unfortunately, due to the large number of buoys already in existence, it was not possible to have all countries using the same colour buoys to mark the port and the starboard side of channels. And so two flavours of one system came into being. The system is called the International Association of Lighthouse Authorities, IALA, and with Part B covering the Americas and some parts of Asia, where their port and markers are green, whilst the rest of the world maintains a red buoy to port marker system, which is known as ILA. The two regions of the world are shown in the map here. The parts of the world shaded green have their port and markers green, and the rest of the world has red markers on the port and side of the channels. And this is when proceeding in towards the port or a river. Two buoys that are easily remembered if you group them together is the safe water buoy and the danger buoy. The safe water buoy is red and white and you can think of that like a, a stick of candy or something like that uh, and it's got on the top a red ball and we like to think of that as being a red apple so when you've been out at sea and you're looking to get into port and do some shopping and get some nice fresh vegetables or from some fresh fruit then this is, uh, this is the one to get. So you can think of it as a red cherry or a red apple on top of the buoy. And this is your welcome into the port uh, and quite often these are used to show where the start of the channel is. At night time the safe water buoy flashes either an ice or face light or a long flash light. However the danger buoy is black and red black and red you can think of this as uh, Dennis the Menace the old cartoon character or you can think of a red red back spider uh, which is obviously quite dangerous so this is what we call an isolated danger you don't want to go anywhere near the isolated danger it's marking a little bit of wreckage an old ruin or, or some isolated rock whatever it is you don't want to go there and this is marked on the top with two black balls so you think of uh, the difference between the two boys is the safe water is a nice red cherry and on the top is two black balls. You want to stay away from the two black balls. And at night time it's flashing two white lights and the white lights, uh, if you think of two flashes together, it's like saying stay away. Stay away. So that's the two boys, the safe water boy and the danger boy. The next two boys that we have are port hand markers and starboard hand markers. And these mark the edge of the channels. Under the Ayala A system, the port buoys are red colour and the starboard buoys are green colour. Both of them have a top mark and the port top mark is a can shape, so you can think of a can of tomato soup. And the starboard buoy is a green shape, so you can think of a Christmas tree shape. So those two top marks give you an idea when the sun is a little bit low or the what we call the colour temperature isn't high. You can't quite make out what colour the buoy is by looking at the top mark. However, you can work out whether it's a port or a starboard buoy. Remember, under Ayala B system in the US and in parts of Asia, the actual shape is the same, but the colours are different. At night time, we can identify the, the red port hand buoy because it flashes a red light, and we can identify the green starboard hand buoy because it flashes a green light. There are another set of buoys. We call these special buoys and they mark a special area. Their top mark is an X and you can think of this as extra special. And this is marking something like a military pra firing practice area, a swimming area, a jet ski area, could be a construction area, 
outfall for sewage pipes. Uh, it could be anything that's not covered by the other buoys. Always yellow. The light that they flash is always yellow. The shape can be any shape, but it must be painted yellow. Cardinal buoys, these actually tell us which direction to go with respect to the compass. For example, a north buoy will say we have to go north. We don't need to know why we can't go south. The buoy tells us we have to go north. The top mark actually tells us which direction the buoy is. For example, if it looks like two arrows pointing up, that's north. Two arrows pointing down is south. Arrows pointing towards the middle, so it looks like a wine glass, would be west. And with the two bases together, it could look like an egg, so we think of east. They actually mark where we should go rather than where the danger is. The lights at night flash white and you can think of a clock whereby the east boy is three o'clock, the south boy is six o'clock and the west boy is nine o'clock. For the twelve o'clock position we just say it keeps flashing all the time. We don't need to count to twelve. Now let's look at each boy individually. The North Cardinal boy has arrows pointing up. Both arrows are pointing up. You could say like up on a chart is north on a chart. Also the colour of the boy being black and yellow, the black part of the boy is where the arrows point. So if the arrows point up, then the top of the boy, that is the one that's black. And at night time it just keeps flashing all the time. The East Cardinal has the bases of the arrows together so the actual arrows point to the very top and to the very bottom and you'll see the colours, the colours are the same black is to the very top and also to the very bottom and the rest of it is yellow and the light is flashing three times because this boy if you look on, the, on a watch this boy is in the three o'clock position east is the three o'clock position so it flashes three times a south cardinal both arrows point down if you like a map or a chart down is where the south is and on the boy itself, the black part is the down or is the lower part. And the light being a six o'clock on the, on the clock face, so it's going to flash six times. However, as a special identifier, so we don't get confused with nine or three, actually at the end of the sixth flash, there's going to be a long flash. You can think of this as being in a restaurant. You're not sure if you're on table six or table nine. The six has got a long line underneath it. And so the light is also flashing six flashes and then a long line or a long flash after that. The West Cardinal, the two arrows point towards the middle and you can think of this as looking like a, a waistline figure or a wine glass. The two arrows are pointing towards the middle so the part of the boy that's black is in the middle and at night time think of it as being the West is on a compass is in the nine o'clock position so it's flashing nine times. The really new boy is the emergency rake marker boy and this is coloured blue and yellow and it's got like a cross on the top mark. You can think of this boy as when a ship suddenly sinks, a helicopter flies out and drops this marker boy, this emergency wreck marker boy, in that area. Its light is flashing blue and yellow. You won't find it on the chart because once they've actually established where the wreck is or cleared the wreck, then they'll replace this with a a normal cardinal boy or if the wreck has been removed and it's no danger to navigation then there'll be no need for any kind of marker boy at all. So that's the emergency wreck marker boy. It's just a temporary boy that's there until they sort out the wreck.